Demarco Murray, at most people's midseason MVP. Yep. What's been most impressive to you about his stretch? We talked to Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett said we've been building a new identity for a few years, and they're seeing it. They drafted Zach Martin in the first in the first round this year. Tyron Smith. They also have, uh, even though Doug Free is banged up, he's one of those veterans uh, that has made them their offensive line one of the best in the National Football League, probably one of the best we've seen in a few years. And we're starting to see less pressure on their big-time, high-paid quarterback, Tony Romo. So those mistakes aren't happening like we've seen in, in past games. And DeMarco Murray uh, is rising to the occasion. Now the question is, can he keep up this pace and, and carry the ball 400-plus times and, and potentially, as we're all hoping for, because we'd like to see records be broken, get to Eric Dickerson's you know, 2,100-yard uh, threshold and, and do something amazing. Well, he already broke Jim Brown's record. Yeah. And to reward his offensive line, <laughs> Tiki, he bought them all iMac computers. That's cool. What's the nicest thing you ever bought your I, offensive lineman? I bought my offensive linemen some very high-priced watches. I almost bought them Harleys, but because they're all like 300 pounds, they would all have to been custom, and I wasn't willing to spend like $400,000 <laughs> on my offensive linemen. But I, I spent a good number on these watches. The interesting thing is, Maggie, they didn't want to wear them. They were like, these are too nice. We're oh not going to wear these. The, the image of seeing your offensive line all on motorcycles yeah. is that unbelievable. Awesome. It, that know, one will stay with it, me, it, too. It was the old redskin fan of me saying, they're all hogs. <laughs> yeah, they, right. they need a hog. They, you, need, they need a Harley. You know, the running back position is really having a moment right now. With DeMarco Murray, with Marshawn Lynch, were we too quick to kind of write the eulogy for the running backs? I, maybe. Um, it's, it's The game is cyclical. I think the, the eulogy came from the fact that got, teams were using one and two uh, and three guys for different circumstances and situations. But there are certain guys that can do it all. Matt Forte is another one and Arian Foster. Uh, those, guys, those guys are the ones I like to watch. That complete back, as my coach used to tell me I needed to be. Uh, you see those. They can play above the X's and O's. They're like second field generals in the Marshall Falk vein, a LaDainian Tomlinson vein. Okay. There's still some guys out there, but it's only a handful. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Chris Johnson was here in our studio mm -hmm. not too long ago. Of course, the Jets running back. When I asked him his advice for future running backs, he said, play cornerback. <laughs> Do you agree with that? No, no. Learn how to be a good receiver is how you stay on the field. I'm, I'm on. I'm being perfectly honest with you because that's where the game is going. Um, a lot of teams choose to throw to get that three yards in a cloud of dust that you used to get through the line of scrimmage. Uh, so if you can be that asset and to be perfectly honest, give it a game planning advantage to your offensive coordinator by being able to do multiple things, then then you will play uh, and, and you'll get your 350 plus touches a year and put up the yardage and, and be productive and become a superstar. It's, it's easier said than done. Somewhere though. your brother Rondé is just shaking his head. No, become a corner. Play Chris corner, Johnson was exactly right. Play corner, you can play for 16 years like he did. There play running go. back, you're going to get 10 because you're going to get beat up. <laughs>